so this is what we use to cover up primary that brass clamp doesn't transfer through to the inside you can see there's tested caps covering that so if, if the primary does touch that or if a ground touches that it's not going to go right through to the primary on the inside hey guys so a few months ago we posted a video where a new pole knocked out a line and a lot of people were asking why the wires weren't tied in when the pole was set so right here today we've got a new house being built pole crew was here earlier so they set four seven poles by the looks of it so what we do in our area the pole crew sets all the poles the line crew comes in behind them usually a few days later or the following week and ties in all the poles especially when there's rubber glove work involved so we've got three new live line poles here set which will all be tied in hot and the reason i'm here right now is even though those pole guards are insulated they, they lose their insulating properties as they get used over time and get dirty so the crew called and said one of them was touching the primary so we're going to put an extra piece of cover up on that particular one this one here's got a couple inches I'm not going to be walking down there in the water. Kind of hard to tell here. Oh, nice. Well, looks like I might have to go down here and close to the water. Oh, that's nasty. So that, that guy is not quite touching. It must, must be this third one here. absolutely hate walking on the side of the road there's so many vehicle accidents around here now people not paying attention texting and driving and whatnot so this is our call for right here that one that's not touching that's the neutral at the bottom and at the top you can see and of course, it's right on a seam too, which makes it worse. So the problem we've got here today is, I'm not setting up my truck on this road to put that cover up on. Blind hill right up there. I'm gonna wait till these cars go by before I jump up onto the road. So 250 meters that way, we've got a blind hill. And 200 meters that way, another blind hill. Definitely not setting up my truck without traffic control, but I'm not gonna call out traffic control and create a whole ruckus just for this. That being said, if you need traffic control for safety reasons, you got no choice. We're not gonna work unsafe. I'm not gonna set my truck up on the road. And no matter how how quick it is, if uh, if I get a blind hill right there, so we're gonna get the telly stick out. See if we can't snap that wire guard on right from the ground. Worst case, we can climb the pole, but I don't particularly want to climb that pole where it is direct contact that phase. We can climb the old pole. Yeah, that's gonna shake things around. Let's get this fella up there with the stick. So this is what we use to cover up primary. That brass clamp doesn't transfer through to the inside. You can see there's tested caps covering that. So if, if the primary does touch that, or if a ground touches that, it's not gonna go right through to the primary on the inside. Uh, what do we got here? So it's a Chance Manufacturer Line Guard. 15.3 kV, 26, it must be the, what it's tested at, 26.4 kV, 
designed for 15.3 kV system. This is going on a 7.2 kV line made in the USA. Electrically tested. She's stamped. You can see this end here. It's it's got the female end, and then we've got the male end. So if you're covering up, uh, I think I posted an Instagram video last week where we covered up pretty well an entire span while a crane was doing a 12-ton lift. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, check that out. It was a pretty neat job. It's just a little 30-second clip, but it gives you a pretty good idea of how we're able to do big lifts with a crane like that. So, standard hammerhead for telescopic stick looks something like this, which will work sometimes. The hammer is pretty tight in there. I've got a few that are tapered a little bit better, but that's not what we're going to use today. We're going to use the spiral head. Slide that right to the back. We'll be able to put that guard, I'll probably put it on from underneath, lifting up, and then flip it around. If you were to drop it on top and pull it down, it's, uh, it's a lot harder to keep things steady to line it up. So uh, let's give it a shot. One more thing I should add. It's gonna be pretty well against the cross arm on one side, but off in the other direction. Could slide down the line. It'll pretty well be pinched between the pole and the wire, but we're gonna try to get the tap clamp on up there as well. Clamp that on the wire and that'll prevent that guard from getting away on us. All right guys, so the wind is picking up a little bit. But we're not going to cheat. We'll do this real time. See if we're off, off our game today. Be good. Oh, it takes a few shots. <laughs> At least what the wind's not too bad. What's all this orange stuff for? It's just to insulate it from the high voltage wires because the pole is right in the 7200 volts. Oh. So if that orange guard wasn't there, it would track through the pole and catch fire. Really? So usually the one guard's enough, the ones in the poles. Pardon? Usually the one guard that's on the pole is enough. Yeah. But this one here, the high voltage is pushing on it pretty hard. Okay. So we're just adding a second guard because just to be sure. Yeah, and we've had we've had a few of them catch fire over the years, and that one there, real damp day like today, yeah. might be getting a call from the fire department at 3 a.m. So <laughs> we don't we don't set 35s at all now on on main roads. Yeah. I've seen all that stuff, and I was wondering what the hell was going on. So I said, well, there's only, only one way to find out. <laughs> I got spun around on me. You almost need a spotter there to 
see from a different angle. Yeah, exactly. Usually I'd be using the truck for doing this stuff, but this road's a little bit too busy for setting up without flaggers. Yeah. Yeah, since they put this new road in here, things just really sped up. Oh, I know, it's crazy. And the one too, it's yeah. bad. All that new pave. Yeah. People are just flying. Alright, so that wasn't too awful bad. Got eaten alive by the mosquitoes. Kind of Got that extra 26 kV guard up there. That and the pole guard. So we're rocking. We got that tap clamp on there too. So that guard's not going to slide away on us. I don't think it'll move. It's pretty well pinched between the pole and the wire anyways. But just want to take a few minutes to show you guys that. And uh, I especially wanted to reinforce that you don't set your truck up on a road like that, the blind hill. We do have a little bit of lenience. Let's say I got to dump a switch. There's a fire down the road. It's an emergency. I got to dump a switch. You're on a semi busy road. You put all your cones out. You can go up and dump the switch, but still not on a blind corner or a blind hill, something like that. If this, if this went for two miles in either direction and you could see the whole way, I might have set up, I'd, I'd see how the traffic was, which they drive fast here, so I probably still wouldn't have, unless it was an emergency. But yeah, just, uh, just wanna make sure that everyone stays safe, take the time to, take the time to identify any hazards and do what you can to control those hazards and always be safe guys, always. See y'all soon.